हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अक्षिता यूर एजुकेटर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन एज यू नो फ्रेंड्स ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म हैज लॉन्च द कंप्लीट कोर्स फॉर अपकमिंग सीरेट एग्जामिनेशन 2023 ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग द होल सिलेबस फॉर द सीटेड एग्जाम सो द particular series for paper 1 paper 2 mathematics has been started which is at live 4 pm each day from monday to saturday so basically the time recently has changed for 4 to 5 days which is at 11 pm so you can sorry 11 am so you can watch over there so in today's lecture we'll be starting up with the number system already discussed basics about the number system and today's lecture will be talking about the concept and the practice questions regarding the number system so even the students who are weak at mathematics can score maximum mark in the examination if you are attending the lecture uh, live at 4 pm so that each of your concept and everything will be cleared over there so that you can confirm your marks in the upcoming examination and the target for it is 30 out of 30 so before moving into the video friends the complete course for paper 1 as well as for paper 2 if you want to get enrolled to it you can download the global online application from the play store or you can contact us on the given whatsapp number which is 8669316919 or 8179913841 in this particular course the highlighting feature will be the one on one mentorship which will be provided to you global online application is available on the play store from where you can install it after install it open the application you'll find such interface where there is an icon named as store icon you have to click on it once clicking you'll move to the page called as my courses in that particular page there is a search tab you have to type in that search tab as seated the course along with the fees will be displayed downwards and hence you can get enrolled to the course before without any further ado let us begin with the lecture so the first question is about which of the following is a pair of like fraction okay so whenever we talk about the like fraction one thing that you have to keep in mind that the fraction are basically of two types one is the like fraction and the another one is the unlike fraction so basically like fractions are the fraction where denominator of the fraction is the same and when the denominator of the fraction is not the same or it is different at that time that fraction is called as unlike fraction a very simple concept but but based upon that the question can be directly asked in the examination and this is the question from the previous year question paper okay so if we look at the options carefully the first option is 2 by 3 and 3 by 2 the denominators are different For question number option number B, if we look here, the option given here is one by two and three by eight. So two and eight option is uh, sorry denominators are again different. For option number C, three by four and three by seven, four and seven are the denominators, which is again an unlike fraction. So all above three are unlike fractions. Let us see the last one. Last one is one by four and three by four, where the denominator are same. that is a 4 so this is the example of like fraction so the correct answer for the given question that is which of the following pair is a like fraction is option number d where it is representing the like fraction with denominator similar next question is what is the difference between the face value of a number 7 in 4782 and 32170 so to understand this we know the face value as well as we know what is place value so what is face value face value and place value as we have already discussed in our foundation batch if you have not watched the videos the videos are available in the playlist so if you are new to the channel please do subscribe the channel and our channel's name is global online spardha pariksha where you can get enrolled to the channel once you will get subscribed to the channel you will get the notification whenever we are going live for the lectures okay so in that particular playlist you will find the uh, lectures based upon the foundation and i have cleared all the foundation which is required for mathematics paper 1 as well as for the paper 2 okay so they have there they have asked us the play a uh, face value of number 7 in the given numbers over there so we first we must know what is the difference between the face value and the place value okay what if in the question they had asked us tell us what is the difference of the face value of 7 in the given numbers so let us understand what is the face value first for the given number 4782 if you are considering any of the number if you are considering any of the number the place value 
so the face value face face value is the number itself what does it mean what does it mean that the face value is the number itself of the number it means that for 4 the face value is 4 for 7 the face value is 7 for 8 the face value is 8 and for 2 the face value is 2 what if we want to talk about the place value okay we know the place values like we know the uh, unit place tens place hundreds place thousands place so if we want to talk about what is the place value for 2 the place value for the 2 is 2 what is the place value for 8 the place place value for 8 will be 80 what is the place value for 7 it is at the hundreds place so it will be 700 so what is the place value for 4 the place value for 4 will be 4000 and it is at the thousands place so this is what about the place value and face value and the difference among them so in question they have asked us tell us about the difference of the face value now i have right now i have explained you what is the face value the face value is the number itself so for 4 7 8 2 the face value is 7 and for 3 2 1 7 0 again the face value is 7 if you want to calculate the difference of both we'll get the difference is equal to 0 but if the question so option number C is the correct for this given question. But if the question was about the place value, so what would you have what you would have do here? What is the place value? This is at the ten unit tens and hundreds place. So the place value is 700 for 7 in this given number. The place value for 7 in this given number is units and tens place. This is minus 70. So whatever the difference will come here is the difference of a 7 between the given number of the place value. Got it? So this is how you have to solve the questions of the place as well as face value. And this is the important type of question again. Can be directly asked in the examination for mathematics paper 1. So the next question is which of the following is not true for the whole numbers. Now whole numbers we know what are, what are the whole numbers. The numbers or the counting numbers starting from 0 are whole numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3 up to infinity are the whole numbers. So they have asked us which of the following is not true regarding the whole numbers. Okay. So they have given option that is a plus b is equal to b plus a. Option b is a minus b is equal to b minus a. Option c is a into b is equal to b into a. Option d is a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b in bracket b plus c. So for understanding this, I'll consider two values here. For example, I'll consider the value for a is equal to 2 and the value for b is equal to 3. Okay. For option number a, if I put these values in option number a, what will I get? a plus b is equal to b plus a. It means summation is coming 5 is equal to 5. So option number 2 is valid for whole numbers. Yes. If we look at the option number b, what is given? a minus b that is 2 minus 3 is equal to 3 minus 2. So what is the answer coming here? Minus 1 is equal to 1. Is it equal? It is not equal. So option number b is here eliminated simply. Okay. So what is regarding option number c? Option number c is talking about a into b that is 2 into 3 is equal to b into a that is 3 into 2 this is equals to 6 is equal to 6 so this is also coming equal so this is also valid for the whole numbers let us look at the option number d a plus b plus c that is 2 plus 3 plus let us consider the value of c is equal to 4 if this will give us 4 a that is equal to 2 sorry 2 plus 3 plus 4 so what is the answer here 5 plus 4 that is equal to 9 and here 2 plus 7 that is again equal to 9. So 9 is equal to 9. So this is also valid for the whole number. So all three options option A, C and D is valid for whole number or it is true for whole number. But option number B is not true for whole number. Hence it is a wrong option. Got it? So this is the question that I have already discussed in the previous lectures. If not, I will ask you this question that you have to tell me what, what is the correct answer for the given question. They have given the question that is a prime number is a number which has many factors, a number which has only factors one and itself always an odd number a number that comes first. It is not always an odd number because two is the only even even a prime number hence it can never be only an odd number. So 
even number which is included in the prime number is 2 so it can never be an odd number okay it means it there there are prime numbers which are odd other than 2 2 is the only even prime number okay so, so it's, it's not com it's not mandatory, mandatory that, that every prime, prime number is an odd number okay so, so next option is a number that comes first no it's not making any kind of sense over here a number which has many factors no this is also wrong as we have already learned, learned that prime number is a number which has which, is, which has only two factors only two factors and the option number a is hence eliminated option number b is talking about a number which has only one only factors one and itself if you consider a few examples for prime number we can clearly say that the factors for 2 are 1 and 2 the factors for 3 are 1 and 3 the factors for 5 are 1 and 5 what are the factors basically it means that 2 comes in the table of 1 and 2 3 comes in the table of 1 and 3 similarly 5 comes in the table of 1 and 5 it means there are only two factors and among these two factors one factor is one and the other factor is the number itself the number itself the number itself hence this is the correct answer to the given question that is option number b that is a prime number is a number which is which is having only two factors and among those two factors one is the number itself and the other factor is one so you have to tell me now already i have discussed this again i have discussed this which is the only even prime number okay uh, option given are one four six and two you have to let me know in the comment section comment this answer and tell me what is the correct answer for the given question number five that which is the only even prime number among the following one four six or two okay so this was end of today's lecture thank you for watching it if you are liking the video please hit the like button and let me know in the comment section so that i can make much more such a videos for you so that you can make your preparation with ease and score maximum marks in the examination thank you for watching it have a great day everyone